The countdown to one of the most exciting and ambitious Cardano DeFi projects has begun. Melt is the first decentralized and non-custodial liquidity project in the world, and we are about to get to see what all the hype is about. So what is Melt? What does it do, and how can you get your hands on the long-promised Melt tokens? Stick around and find out. What is up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that like, hit that subscribe on the way in because in today's video, we are taking a look at probably one of the most exciting and long anticipated projects on Cardano. We've been waiting a long time for Meld and it's finally here. There's a lot of updates, so buckle up. Banking just got a whole lot cooler. Mel describes themselves as the first DeFi non-custodial banking protocol. But what does that mean exactly? Well, in the fiat world, there are thousands of banks, credit institutions, and other entities that offer a range of money management services. Everything from savings to transaction accounts to lending and term deposits. Now, while the financial legacy system works to an extent, most of us are in crypto because we want a certain level of freedom when it comes to banking. Then there's the issue of accessibility. If you've ever applied for a credit card, car loan, or mortgage, you'll be aware of the mountain of paperwork and red tape that you have to jump through before your application is even considered. You've got to hand over all of your private information and you are massively judged by your financial history. How likely do you think it is with a farmer with no credit from Ethiopia that has no credit score to get approved for a tractor loan? But let's just say they did approve him. In many third world countries, financial institutions charge insane interest rates. In Madagascar, for example, you can expect to pay 48% interest. But it's not just emerging economies that are price gouging like this. Even in the US and Europe, same day cash advances and spot loans can attract fees and rates that can end up being almost half of the principal borrowed. Meld hopes to be the crypto alternative to these financial systems and centralized banks. But instead of representing the banks themselves, they hand the keys over to the users, allowing people to borrow and lend from each other. It's true peer-to-peer -peer finance, just like lending $20 to your friend and he pays it back on agreed terms. But unlike your friend who might take the $20 and flee the country, Meld offers the same security and loss prevention that you would get from any bank, just without the constant oversight. So how does it all work? Back to our friend analogy. After a few instances of him not paying back the $20, we decide to put some rules in place. Now, every time he wants to borrow something, he has to leave something in collateral that's worth at least two times the amount that he's borrowing. Maybe it's a watch, a bike, whatever it is. It has to cover the value of the borrowed amount just in case something happens. With Meld, you can play the part of the bank or the borrower. If you're looking to borrow cash, you simply indicate how much you want and then lock in that amount of crypto worth two times that amount. Accepted currencies include ADA, BTC, ETH, and BNB. You then can have that fiat money transferred to your bank account anywhere in the world. An agreed interest rate and schedule is decided and the borrower pays the money back in monthly installments. Once the entire principal and any interest is repaid, your collateral crypto is then released back to you. On the other side, lenders can deposit fiat to the MELD protocol through the MELD app to earn both high interest returns on their deposit and MELD tokens as an incentive. MELD tokens are used to pay for transactions on the protocol, but can also be staked to earn APY as rewards. This staked pool of MELD prevents against things like impermanent loss, which can reduce your crypto balances under certain circumstances. So like many dApps launching or about to launch, MELD took a unique approach to raising initial funds. They called it their ISPO. Instead of selling tokens as part of an initial coin offering, they took a more creative approach. The Meld ISPO was the first of its kind and so successful that other projects began using the similar method. So what is an ISPO? An ISPO is where a project turns off delegated rewards in their stake pools, pocketing all the ADA that would have been generated each epic. In return, delegators are rewarded with that project's token. From July 1st, 2021 to December 8th, 2021, Meld operated stake pools that you could delegate to. For 32 epics, all ADA rewards went back to Meld, and you accumulated Meld token rewards depending on your stake 
and the amount of time that you were delegating. To give you an idea of just how much interest there was in the MELD ISPO, there was over $1 billion staked with MELD pools at one time. Now, if you did take part, rewards translated to 0 0.065 MELD tokens per ADA staked per EPIC. And at any time, stakers could check the progress of these MELD tokens on the ISPO dashboard. So when are MELD tokens distributed? Until very recently, it was unclear about time frame. But MELD came out and announced that on January 31st, MELD tokens would begin distribution. So that's some awesome news. But what about everything else going on in MELD and everything else that is planned for 2022? When MELD first announced their project and the ISPO, the response, as we talked about, was massive. Over a billion ADA and delegation, more than 50,000 Twitter followers, and an active Discord community all ready to get involved and participate. So what can this huge following expect from MELD this year, 2022? The team has been hard at work addressing some fairly ambitious goals for 2022. The first is interoperability. While Cardano has a community to succeed on its own, liquidity coming in from other blockchains is a necessary part of scaling. For this reason, Meld has been working in conjunction with Polygon on Adamatic, the first two-way bridge between Cardano and Polygon. Users will be able to meld native tokens and have them exist on either chain. But that's not the only cross-chain support they've been working on. Meld has also provided input on Nervous's Force Bridge, bringing support to Bitcoin, Tron, EOS, and Polkadot. Then there's this concept of self-repaying loans. Meld is working on a genius loan, a protocol that collateralizes their cryptocurrency and takes out a fiat loan with a slightly higher interest rate. The borrower only has to pay the interest on the loan while yield farming rewards eat away at the principal, making it a truly self-paying loan. Based on the modeling, MELD expects that it would take three to six years to repay a $100,000 loan. MELD has also created the Hachi Project, a set of low-level analysis and auditing tools for Cardano smart contracts. While they are still in their research phase, they aim to launch a smart contract debugger, reverser, optimizer, tracer, and vulnerability hunter with the first version scheduled for Q3 in 2022. But the announcements don't stop there. On top of all of these partnerships and protocol developments, there is one very different but promising technical development, and that's the introduction of MELD's very own stablecoin, backed by the gold standard. And no, we don't mean Bitcoin, we mean actual gold. In a three-way partnership with MELD, Ubuntu Tribe, and an African agri-fintech company called Tingo International Holdings, MELD plans to lock up a good amount of gold in a vault before tokenizing and fractionalizing for use on the Cardano blockchain. They won't need to rely on algorithmic pegs or stable pairs like Jedwill. Instead, they're doing it old school with actual gold reserves to match the tokens minted. This was the way the US ran its own treasury before it pegged to itself. With a gold-backed stablecoin, you have complete surety as MELD will only mint tokens to cover resources it actually has. This prevents any overextending and inflation caused by money printing, something the US could learn a thing or two from. While there's no exact date on MELD Gold's rollout, work has begun and updates will be released as progress is made. So that's just a tiny snapshot of everything that Meld is working on and has planned for 2022. And we are so excited to be able to collaborate with this exciting project. So that's all the time we have in today's video to discuss Melt and all the awesome DeFi functionality they are bringing to Cardano blockchain. Did you take part in the ISPO for Meld? Let me know in the comments below. What kind of features or cool things do you want to see enabled via Melt in the future? Also let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe, hit that like button. It means a lot to me. As always, have an amazing day and God bless.